Hi everybody, we're going to be doing a little figure drawing exercise. Um, we're going to be using these wooden mannequins as our models for the different figures we're going to create. And you want to, when you are working with this, to think of, first of all, an interesting pose that your mannequin can be in that we can draw into the paper. But secondly, you also want to make sure that you're really conscious of the proportions of the figure and that you're constantly checking it against the drawing that you're doing. So for example, just a couple basic things that people often don't think about. Um, the length of the top of the head to the waist of your body is the same length as your legs. So your legs actually take up half of your body. So if you even take a pencil and sort of measure and mark where it ends and then measure the bottom half, you'll notice that it works out perfect where this half is the same as the other half. The other thing is people very often forget how long arms are. Um, arms actually go down past the waist, all the way down to the middle of the thigh thereabouts. So when you're drawing, make sure you're checking back at your mannequin, comparing the sizes, and also checking back to any sort of worksheets or references so you can make sure you are proportionally doing everything correctly. Now for this particular assignment, we're gonna be using black paper, we're gonna be using a pencil, our mannequin, and then we're gonna be using some color to enhance this to really make it look kind of like they are um, figures floating around in the background. You're gonna have more than one figure in your final design. Um, you need to have at least three. If you wanna have more than that, that's fine. And they do not need to be complete full figures. Um, three parts of figures is fine. Um, and I'll kind of go through it so you can see what I'm talking about. So once you have your figure posed the way you want them, set them aside so you can look at them and you're gonna to try to draw what you're seeing using pencil on your black paper. have one figure done. Um, I did a lot of looking and comparing and trying to figure out exactly where the arms were in relation to other parts, like the, where's the top of the hand versus the top of the head, where's the hand versus the body. Um, I tried to compare, com contrast the sizes and proportions. Once I think I have it pretty well suited, then I can move on to another figure. Remember, we want to put about three in here. And again, it doesn't have to be the full figure, so this is missing its feet. Maybe I could do a much smaller version of this where I can show the full figure over here, and then maybe I'll just have like the head and the arms or something popping out over here. Try to put them in different positions so it feels like they're dancing around and they're kind of evenly spread out throughout the picture. drawing all my figures so I have one big major one and I have parts of other ones popping through in different areas and I feel like I broke up my space really well so now I'm ready to add some color to enhance this to give it a little bit more flair because our drawing is on black paper we're going to need to make sure we use colors that are really gonna pop off the page you could use something like chalk pastel I feel like that's a little bit tough to get fine details with um, so instead I would recommend using either uh, construction paper, color pencils, or maybe construction paper crayons so that you can have it show up really nice on the black background, or oil pastel. So I'm going to demonstrate the color pencil and the oil pastel technique just so you can see the difference. When it's time to start coloring this in, you want to be very aware of the shadows. Where is it light and where is it dark on your figure? So generally speaking, if you have light coming from one side, 
pretty much that same side on all the pieces is going to be the highlighted side and then the other side is going to be the shadowed side. So once you kind of create a rule for yourself that let's say everything on the left side is going to be where the highlight is, then that kind of gives your brain a little understanding knowing that the other side, the right side is going to be where the shadow is. So observe your figure, look at it in the shadows and in the light, and if you don't have any distinct light source, you might wanna consider getting one so that you can do this a little bit easier. So I'm gonna concentrate just on this leg actually, just so I can do this in a small space, and I'm gonna be using the color pencil, and it doesn't matter what color you pick, you can pick white, white actually looks really pretty on the black background. I'm gonna pick like a light blue and what I'm gonna actually do is I'm going to color the highlights which sounds kind of odd wherever it's supposed to be lightest that's where I'm gonna be coloring and if you are using construction paper color pencils or construction paper crayons then you want to make sure you are pressing hard so that the color is nice and vibrant when you lay it down and notice that I'm like letting it fade into the black if I want, I can get a darker color and I can actually use that as my shadow on the other side of it, if that's something that I think would look good. Or I can simply let the blackness of the paper show through and instead have it be something more like this, where I have the highlight and then I'm letting it fade into black. So notice that I'm doing each section individually, one at a time, and that I am focusing on the same side of the figure being the lightest and then the same side being the darkest. You do want to keep looking at your actual mannequin so you can be comparing to make sure you're not making any errors that you aren't putting highlights where there shouldn't be and, there, and putting shadows where there shouldn't be. But generally speaking, you can pretty much count on that general rule of thumb being accurate that the ones, whatever side you pick is going to be consistently highlights and the other side is going to be the shadows. So now I have one figure done. It's just a leg, but I do have that one done. So I would move on to a second figure. And this time I would recommend switching the colors up. Um, I think it look, would probably look a little bit more exciting and interesting if each figure was featured with a different color. But if you wanna keep a theme, you want them all to be the same, that's fine. If you wanna maybe just do two colors, like everything's gonna be green and blue, then you could do that also. But we are not doing the background, just the figures. Now, if you want to do something a little different, maybe you're not into the construction paper, color pencils, or crayon idea, and instead you wanna try your hand with the oil pastel, do the same thing, this time with oil pastel. So it's the same idea. Um, the colors when you use oil pastel will look a good bit more vibrant, and you could do the same process if you'd like. Start with um, the side that you would indicate as being a highlight, and you can have it fade into the black. Um, you could also even use black oil pastel to further help blend the two together. You can use your finger or tissue to actually help create a nice blended effect as well. And finally, you could use um, a little white or a lighter tone of the same one to emphasize a highlight on one side if you really want it to have more of a brighter highlight look. So I'm gonna continue coloring the rest of my figures and then we'll take a look and see how they all look at the end.
my finished figures all colored in and shaded appropriately. I did a couple with the color pencil technique, the construction paper color pencil, and then I did a couple with the oil pastel technique. You have to really play around with it and decide which technique is your favorite, or if you want to do a combination like I did. Um, I will say if you use oil pastel, you're more likely going to be fully covering the figure and using all the colors to blend together to create some shadows, whereas if you use so you're more likely to have more of the black paper showing through. So it really just depends on your feel and your vibe for this on which you prefer. Um, I hope you guys had fun doing this. I hope you had fun uh, working with the figures, working with proportions, and creating some interesting dancing, colorful figure designs. Have fun!